Now staying with uh, President Moon's state visit to China, also on Friday, he had a busy day. Uh, President Moon met with some uh, senior Chinese politicians in the Chinese capital. Our Huang Ojun fills us in on what was discussed. The South Korean President Moon Jae-in met with China's second-in-command, Premier Li Keqiang, both emphasizing the need to promote bilateral friendship, including economic cooperation and human exchanges. President Moon said he hopes his meeting with Premier Li will accelerate the recovery and development of the Seoul-Beijing relationship and enhance cooperation in various areas, including the agriculture and finance sectors. They also agreed to closely communicate with each other for the early hosting of a trilateral summit between Seoul, Beijing and Tokyo. It was the second time the president and the premier had met. The first came during the ASEAN summit in the Philippines last month. Earlier on Friday, President Moon Jae-in met with Zhang Dezhang, the chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, roughly the equivalent to South Korea's National Assembly speaker. President Moon said to Zhang that he considers the meeting meaningful, especially because both South Korea and China must prepare for the next 25 years to come, and expressed his gratitude for Zhang's continuous support of a peaceful resolution of the North Korea nuclear issue. The two discussed ways to create a future-oriented relationship between the two countries and called for efforts to increase communication and exchanges in all areas and at all levels, including between their parliaments and parties. And with that, President Moon wrapped up the Beijing leg of his state visit. The rest of his trip will be in the city of Chongqing, about 1,800 kilometers southwest of the Chinese capital. According to the Blue House, Chongqing not only holds historical significance for Korea as a site of the nation's provisional government during the Japanese occupation, but it's also a key part of President Xi's policies on economic cooperation with China. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.